The purpose of the lookup functions is to search for a keyword in a data set and find related information from other cells. In this video, I am going to demonstrate three functions that do this purpose. The first one is called VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup, which means this function searches down the first column of a range for a key and returns the value of a specified cell in the row found. Its syntax is equal sign VLOOKUP, open parenthesis, search key, comma, range, comma, index, comma, is sorted, close parenthesis. The first argument is search key, which is the value to search for. Second argument is a range which is the data set to consider for the search. The first column in the range is searched for the key specified in search key. The third argument is index which is the column index of the value to be returned. The first column in the range is index 1, second column is index 2, and so on. The fourth argument is optional. Its value may be true or false. True is for the nearest match, which means there will still be an output even if the search key is not in the first column. The function will look for the nearest match in the range. To make this happen, the search column must be sorted. False is for exact match, which means the search key should be present in the column to avoid no value is available error. Note that if there are multiple matching values, the content of the cell corresponding to the first value found is returned. Let's have an example of VLOOKUP. I have two tables in this sheet. The first table contains the employee's data. It has five columns. The second table will be used to input the search key and where the answers of VLOOKUP functions will be shown. Suppose I would like to reveal the last name and job description based on the ID. ID is a search key since it is the first column. I will type in 103. The expectation is last name would be Kevin and job description is senior mechanic. To do that, type in equal sign VLOOKUP, open parenthesis, C10, comma, A3, colon, E8, comma, 3, comma, false, close parenthesis. As we see, it returned the correct output, which is Kevin. Let's have another use of VLOOKUP. In this cell, type in equal sign VLOOKUP, open parenthesis C10, comma A3, colon E8, comma 4, comma false. As expected, it returned senior mechanic. Let's change the search key to ID number 105. The output for the last name is Brian, and the job description is Junior Mechanic. Let's change the key to ID number 107. Notice that both results are NA, or no value is available, because there is no 107 in the first column. I will replace the search key with 109. As we see, it revealed the correct outputs. Let's now talk about the next function. HLOOKUP stands for Horizontal Lookup. It searches across the first row of a range for a key and returns the value of a specified cell in the column found. The syntax is equal sign HLOOKUP, open parenthesis, search key, comma, range, comma, index, comma, is sorted, close parenthesis. The search key is the value to search for. The range is the data set to consider for the search. In this function, the first row in the range is searched for the key specified in search key. Index is the row index of the value to be returned, where the first row in range is numbered 1. Is sorted argument may have true or false values. If true, it will look for the nearest match. This works if the first row is sorted. If false, the function will look for the exact match. Let's have an example. Suppose we would like to determine the body type of a BMI value, let's say 18.5. Type in equal sign H lookup, open parenthesis, C5, comma, B2, colon, E3, 
comma to comma through close parenthesis the reason why we use true in the fourth argument is because the function will still return an output even if the search key is not an exact match. Also, looking at our example, we can use true because the first row is sorted. As we see, the output when 18.5 is searched is normal weight. Let's input 17. There's no 17 in the data set, but since we use true in the fourth argument, it will return underweight. It's because all the values less than 18.5 will fall under 0. If we put 26, although there is no 26 in the data set, the expected result is overweight because the number is within the range of 25 and less than 30. The third function that we will talk about is lookup. Compared to the previous two, this function is more flexible. It looks through a sorted row or column for a key and returns the value of the cell in a result range located in the same position as a search row or column. The syntax is equal sign lookup, open parenthesis, search key, comma, search range, comma, result range, close parenthesis. The search key is the value to search for in the row or column. The search range is a single sorted row or column range to look through for the search key. The result range is the range from which to return a result. The value returned corresponds to the location where search key is found in search range. Let's have an example. Let's say we would like to show quantity and unit price based on the order ID entered like 10247. Type in equal sign lookup, open parenthesis, C6, comma, B2, colon, G2, comma, B4, colon, G4, close parenthesis. Based on the arguments, the search range is the first row, while the result range is the third row. This means the value to be returned will come from the third row. The output is 12 because it is in the same position as the keyword in the search range. Let's have another example. Type in equal sign lookup open parenthesis C6 comma B2 colon G2 comma B3 colon G3 close parenthesis. Based on the arguments, the search range is the first row, while the result range is the second row. As expected, the output is $14. Let's input 10250. As seen, the output is 6 for quantity and $7.70 for the unit price, which are all correct. We come to the end of this video lesson. I hope I have given some light to your knowledge about lookup functions on Google Sheets.